Well, good evening, and hello there. It is currently 9.35 at night, but it's dark as shit. Because it's just how things go. We got hit by a snowstorm, so I figured, you know what, I'm going to stay in the house and be productive. It is a Friday night. And uh, I'm still kind of fuming over that 100-pack opening. And if you watched it, which I'm assuming you did if you're watching this video, because it seems like everybody who watches my pack opening videos watches all of them. But, uh... You remember how things went. It wasn't great. So I figured, you know what? I want to open um, something a little bit different. I want to open things and mix up my variety a little bit. So uh, I have a few different products. And we're going to give it a whirl. So I have three blister packs. One is uh, a Raikou, an Entei, and a Suicune blister pack. I got all these at GameStop during the clearance sale. So there's nine packs and three pins. And then I have these Tapu Coco boxes, which are three packs, a promo, and a pin. Um, I have six of those. <laughs> and then, because that's just not enough for me, I have the other Tapu Coco product, the uh, the figure box, with the promo, uh, in some more packs. And uh, if things don't go so well like they did for the other pack opening video I've got another thing to open and I'm gonna keep it as a surprise for now just in case cuz uh if things do go well then that'll be the next video but I'm gonna go super fast mode here and uh, open up all these products and get the packs ready to go and some pins and stuff I have a cool little display and because my camera can record three hours of footage and not 12 minutes I can record the whole thing we'll have a cool little montage with music so, uh, you know, stay with me here, and we're gonna get to it. So, we got everything opened, and it only took a couple, oh Jesus, it only took a couple of minutes, and I'm trying to get this stand put together for this little Coco figure, because this thing is pretty cool, let me uh, line up, nice, and then there should be a hole right on the booty of the Tapu Coco, and I want to stand him up. Oh, I'm having trouble inserting into the butt here. It doesn't seem to want to go in. Which I understand. I don't think I'd want that either. Well, anyway, there he is. <laughs> we have all these pins. The Raikou, Entei, and the Suicune are all here. Put them in the order of my favorites. We have Suicune, Entei, Raikou. And then all of these Tapu Coco pins. Oh my goodness. So many of them. We've got six. A ton of pins. Are those all on screen? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, let me make sure everything stays on screen. We want all the cool goodies to be visible. Just so we can see what all we're getting for uh, for our bang here. The last time when I opened just a bunch of packs, I wasn't really guaranteed anything, you know? You don't get that guarantee. Let's see, they're almost in frame. Here, we'll just set them across the top here. <laughs> so we have seven of the Coco promos, and these things go for a couple bucks a piece. And then we have the one that's a little bit different. So the boxes have different promos in them. 
There we go. Cool. Then we have a room for some more pools down here. So let's get going. <clears throat> you guys know the deal. We, uh, we'll, we'll go a fast bit through the green codes. And then on the, uh, the white codes, we'll go through them nice and slow. So, oh, we got a Weedle, a Chop, Tangela, Vulpix, Fire Energy, oh, exciting, Revive, <laughs> Slowbro Spirit Link, Super Potion, Reverses Energy Retrieval, and, ooh, starting things off with a bang. First opening, it took two packs. This time we're getting it on the first. We got ourselves a Pidgeot EX, or as I like to jokingly call it, Pidget. I know, it's it's rough. <laughs> uh, here, I'll just keep that off to the side. We don't really need to worry about those a whole lot. And uh, as we get more pools, which hopefully we do, I'll uh, I'll just move things like these guys off screen as needed. We have a seal, Magikarp, another energy, Caterpie, Ghastly, Venusaur Spirit Link, a potion, Metapod, Potion, and a oh my god, we're on a roll already! Mega Venusaur, EX. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough sleeves. <laughs> so, oh my goodness. Yeah, that last video was rough, and uh, I unfortunately let <clears throat> my frustration get to me. Here, there's a green code, so we'll just shuffle through that one nice and quick. There's a Porygon and a Beedrill. Very nice, very nice. Where's the energy? There it is. And uh, so I apologize for that. I know a couple of you said it was, uh, it was unfortunate. And I know I made the accusation. Oh, well, there's a code for you. And it is a green code. So you can have that and we'll just go through it. Uh, I know in the midst of my frustration, I made the accusation that the packs uh, could have been, could have been weighed or it was a scam and uh, you know, that might have just been me speaking out of frustration. I, I don't... I, I really don't think it was the person that sold them. Uh, they have... Oh, there we go. So there's a green card. They have a, uh... <clears throat> a fairly reputable... Uh, eBay store, and I'm not gonna blast them or anything like that, because if anything, like I said, it was just me getting mad because I felt like I had been wronged. Which... I necessarily wasn't. Um... So that was, I just wanted to say, you know, sorry for that. Uh, that was totally my fault for letting it get to me like that. That's why I didn't really pull any rares. The first couple packs uh, had EXs and stuff in them, so. <laughs> so, yeah, I just wanted to address that. I felt like it was, uh, it was honestly wrong of me to start throwing accusations around just because I had bad pulls. When the whole thing is with these cards is that you're never really guaranteed anything. So I don't want you guys to think that, ooh, or Orangaroo, that's worth pulling right there. And a good suck mama fish. Um, Orangaroo is probably a couple dollars, honestly, because it's such a, a played card. But uh, as I was saying, I don't want you guys to just get the assumption that if you have bad pulls, uh, that automatically means that, um, oh, here we go, that, you know, you were scammed or something like that. I don't want to spread misinformation. Or I don't want you guys to see that, maybe because I had a bad experience, that they're all going to be like that. So, uh, I just wanted to say that, you know, in the middle of a video, when, when I've got all of your attention. So, um, that's about it. I'm going to move on and start pulling some some damn cars. i got a Corsola, a Stuffle, and... Ooh! One of my favorite from Sun and Moon Base, Lorantis GX. I think is a great card. Is a damn beautiful card for sure. And a great pull. Ringaroo, you deserve to be down here, my friend. You really do. In just one second, guys, I gotta check something. Hopefully, you won't be able to pick that up audibly. I'm, uh, I'm, I've got something else going on on the side here. I'm watching an auction for cards as we speak. <laughs> Maybe some things I'll be able to pull into a video sometime. All right, so I think we're definitely gonna fill up our board here. So we're gonna move the cocos for now, just because uh, I think. We're going to see some magic happen here for sure. All right, so we're moving on. We have Steam Siege now. And hopefully that means we're going to steam. Oh, we're going to get some steamy goodies. Not this pack, though. Not this pack. Got a Clang and a Yon Mega. Yon Mega seeing a weird return because of a goofy deck. 
It's like Yon Mega with, uh, what was it? Zorark, maybe? I think it was Yon Mega with Zorark GX. Where Zorark allows you to get, um, like, your, so Yon Mega is good because it allows you to attack without worrying about the cost of your energy attacks. Um, if you have four cards in your hand exactly. So what Zorark does is it allows you to, um, I didn't even slow roll that. I was so invested in what I was saying. So I'll just stop here for a second and try to explain myself again. We got two Clang Hollows in a row. That's interesting. Uh, all right. So Yon Mega reads, if you have exactly four cards in your hand, ignore all energy and the attack cost of this Pokemon's attack. So it's attack costs three energy. But if you have four cards in your hand, it costs zero. You don't have to attach anything to it. You can just set it down and start attacking. So they pair that with Zorark because Zorark is really good about... Um, Zorark allows you with its trade ability to go in and out and, uh, and, and discard cards from your hand and draw two cards. And it's, uh, it's the perfect partner for it, really. What am I doing? I don't need to slow roll this. It was a green code. Sorry, I got so caught up when I was saying. There's a Cobalion and a Zwellis. It's, uh, I, I saw, I've been watching uh, AGDQ, which is a speed run uh, marathon that goes on for uh, a week. Uh, once around this time of the year, then I believe they also do it in the summer, which would be called SGDQ. And there was a playthrough of Pokemon Black, a speed run uh, of Black 2. And it was, uh, they played the entire game in three and a half hours. The whole game, from start to finish. So it was, uh, <laughs> it was certainly something to watch this happen. And uh, seeing these Pokemon now is just reminding me of the run that I watched. It was, it was really, really cool. I watched the whole thing while I was editing. It was really, really good. It makes me want to play Pokemon Black. Uh, he was playing Black, or I believe it wasn't, it was Black and White, but of course there's Black and then there's White. And it was number two, so it was the second game. And, uh, it just looked like a blast. I didn't actually ever play Black and White 2. So that made me really want to play. Another green code. Steam Siege is not coming in clutch here. What are you doing, Steam Siege? There's our third Clang Reverse! <laughs> what is going on? So many Clangs. What we got? Oh, well that shows you the code. And it's a green, so there's a freebie for you. Oh, I need to throw that one away. Forgot. Not gonna do me any good. You guys already took it. There's a Weavile, nice, and a Toxicroak. Nothing else in there, really. That is a rare, so I'll put that in the rare pile. Couple more packs of Steam Siege, and then we'll be on to Guardians Rising. Oh, there it is, it's a white code. Okay, I, I forgot what I was doing for a second. Like, what set is this? Chimchar, Rufflet, Chelos, Clauncher, Meowth, Skiploom, Fletchender, there's a Reverse Persian, and a Zoomerill. Ooh, and an Ampharos Hollow. I love that card, it is so pretty. Put that in a rare pile. Oh, uh, yeah, there we go, we're good. All right, two more for Steam Siege, and then we're going into Guardians Rising. Hoping for some more Lele's, you know. We're always looking for Lele. Not its trolling friend, Toxapex. Which always makes you think it's a Lele. Oh, we got a break in here. There's a Pyroar. Beautiful. You forget about the uh, the breaks because they, they are in the reverse holo slot. So, uh, even if you have a green code, you can still pull a break card. We'll put that right there. Last pack of the Steam Siege. And it is a green code, unfortunately. So Steam Siege only bringing us a break. Oh, and a Talonflame, which days have certainly passed. Talonflame used to be a great, great card, especially in decks like Greninja. Um, but those those days are pretty much gone. <laughs> Doesn't really see any use anymore whatsoever. And we're going into Guardians Rising. Hopes are high. Hopes are high. Oh, we're starting off with a white code. Beautiful. So with this set, we do that. I, have a, I almost call that a fairy energy. Jesus. Gathita, Pancham, Vulpix, Chansey, Pedalil, 
Altar of the Moon, Altar of the Sun, why not? Alolan Graveler, Reverse Hollow Salazzle is a rare, and a Machamp. So two hollow rares. I'll take that. I'll take it every day. My voice is getting croaky. Let me get a drink. Oh. Woo! All right. Going back in. Ha! Green code. So we've got ourselves a Gothita and another Salazzle. Salazzle's really wanting to hang out with us here tonight. Just fine. I don't mind you, Salazzle. You hot, flaming little lizard mama. If you guys didn't know, Salazzles can only be female. Or else they just stay as a Salandit forever. Which I guess kind of sucks. That was a cool pack. Some nice trainers in there. Nothing I'm really worth pulling out though, as I've already got like hundreds of copies of them. And they're only worth a couple cents, you know, so. A lot of that stuff, but we just bulk it up. And, uh, move on. What we got? Green code action. Oh, we got a reverse hollow galisopod, or galisopod, sorry. Nothing else really in there to talk about. Vanillix we'll put in the rare pile, where it belongs. All right, so if we don't really pull much else, I'm gonna have to pull out that surprise box, but we'll see. We will see what you're gonna bring me, Sun and Moon, here. Fighting energy. Got a Litwick, Gliger, Vanillite, Mudbray, Salandit, Mallow, Sudowoodo, Hollow, Whiskash, and Lycanroc GX. The fighting energy was a telling sign. Lycanroc is a great, great pool. It is getting played a ton right now. It is getting played a ton. Because it is a great card. It's Buildy Bloodthirsty Eyes. When you evolve a Rock Ruff into a Lycanroc. Excuse me. Belched. You are able to switch one of your opponent's benched Pokemon with their active Pokemon. Uh, there was a card in standard format that just rotated out. It was a it was a uh, supporter card. So it's a card you can only play one of per turn. Um, that type of card. There's the Oracorio. We've only gotten one so far. Thank God. Got another Sudowoodo, which is a great card. I'll set that aside. Seeing some play and expanded. Um, but. The card was called Lysander, and it was a it was a card that if you played Lysander, you couldn't play any other supporters uh, at all during your turn. So to be able to do that with an ability, and then still play a supporter card, makes Lys or uh, Lycanroc very very good. We have ooh the Drampal Daddy Dragon. There we go. Well, I gotta fix my shit here. We've got a Chansey, is that a, that's a common, that's right. Alright, we'll set that aside. There we go, get on in there, Drampa. Welcome to the table. It's nice to have you around. Come on, Guardians Rising. We want, oh, huh, green code. We'll risk it. <laughs> what do we got? We got a Heliolisk and a Sand Slash. Heliolisk is a rare, so that's something. That's something, you know, we'll take it. Anytime we can get more than one rare in a pack, screw it. We'll call it a victory. Ah! I did it again! <laughs> I keep forgetting which way the packs go, because I am a ding dong. It's two hollow chances in a row, so we're seeing a lot of patterns here. These boxes, you know, where these packs were is that they were, uh, there were two Guardians Rising uh, packs, and then there would be, there's a white code, and then a Steam Siege. So maybe what we're seeing is that some of these duplicates could be from the same box, which would be kind of cool. Sandshrew, Cottony, Bellsprout, Gliger, Attract, Enhanced Hammer, Marini, Whiskash, and a Politoed. Welcome to the board, my friends. Get a little low, we got four left. Oh, green code. See, I keep remembering, I keep forgetting, not remembering. I'm doing the thing that doesn't remember, which is called forgetting. Here we go. Nice. Separation at its finest. 
Ugh. Hi! Green code! Damn it. I'm sure you guys are just hoping for green codes. That way you can see the bonus thing, huh? I think it's looking like we're gonna have to pull out the bonus box. Which is totally fine. Totally, totally fine. It's been sitting around. I may as well get my use out of it, right? And open the damn thing. Oh. Energy is a grass. Helioptile, Phantom, Stuffle, Whalmer, Machop, Kamala, Enhanced Hammer, Aquapad, Sharpedo, and a Blissey. Sharpedo, I always tease for being one of the worst cards I've ever seen printed. And you know what? He is still garbage, so. Last pack that we have right here. It is a white code, so there is a chance. Yeah, there we go, that's the right order. Fire, we have a Vanillite, Gliger, Litwick, Clefairy, Tentacool, Machoke, Gliscor, Komala, Heliolisk, and a Delmise. Well, there we go. There's everything from those boxes. As you can see, I'm doing a real quick cleanup here. So I can grab that other little set of goodies. This, we won't even bother sleeving, honestly, because it's going to be pretty much sold at a bulk price. So out of our packs, we got some goodies, for sure. Oh! Ah! Lycanroc definitely being my favorite. Lorant is coming in a close second place. But look at that. Some nice, beautiful pools. We got all of our Tapu Cocos. That's money right there. Those are That's value. We got all of our cool little knickknacks and pins. But let me grab the gal the <laughs> Let me grab the surprise and we will definitely get some pulls. They are guaranteed pulls. You will see why. You wanna know how to guarantee that you get good pulls out of your pack opening videos? Let's move these aside as I don't think we'll have room. You buy a collection box that's full of nothing but hollow rares, known as full arts and secret rares. This thing has so many full art cards in it that I don't even know what to do, other than just open it and act like we pulled all of these wonderful things out of packs. <laughs> we were so disappointed in our last video having next to no value in it, that this time... Ah, we're opening this big mother trucker up, and we are guaranteed pools. Now this box is super nice as well. Check this out. It can be hard to show. The camera zo zoomed in. Let me let me try this. Let me zoom it out so you can see a little bit of the spread. And you can see everything now. But this just opens up like this. It's really nice. You can just pull out all your goodies from in here. These cards are sitting. I don't even know how to get these out. Oh, I see now. I see. Or actually, I don't see. Oh, here it is. Oh my god. Here, let's uh let's be smart about this. <laughs> we will take out the contents. Because we've got some other goodies. I love that this. It comes with two packs. Why even bother? <laughs> I mean seriously, why even bother with that? We will take out all the contents and uh we will look at them here. So let me pull these packs out. And these cards. We will set these here. Let's set this down. We don't want to show off too much just yet, do we? All right, we zoom back in a little bit. We're gonna set these cards off to the side for now. And we're gonna go over, I'll just set those right here for now. The other cool contents that we have. So we have a pack of evil tall sleeves and a pack of Xernia sleeves. Both of these are enough to sleeve up a complete deck. And then we have this really awesome deck box, which I just think is the coolest thing ever. I love me some good quality 
TCG supplies. So good, in fact, that I can't even open them. <laughs> oh my god. Lordy, help me. Okay, let's, uh... There we go. And this thing is a really nice quality, too. Ah, I'm just ripping apart. I think there's... There we go. So you could put... Man, this is really nice. Put like a little dry erase marker there. You could have these sleeves that'll fit your sleeved deck. So as you can see, you just put your sleeves in there. And then you put them into the deck box. It has these really cool dividers. Oh man, this is super nice. I might start using this. I just, I really like this product a lot. And this is magnetic. To keep it shut. Oh yeah, I like this. Because I always have a couple decks with me. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep all of this, honestly. <laughs> Alright, now let's look at the cards now, shall we? The meat and taters. Oh god, they're going to make this difficult. Let me, uh, let me grab some extra sleeves. We're definitely going to need them. Alright. I grab extra sleeves because I don't want to have mismatching sleeves. <laughs> it drives me crazy. But... What we have here is a line of full art trainers. These are supporter cards like I was just talking about. And uh, I would like to be able to pop these out as nicely as po Oh, God. Oh, okay, I see. They made them easy to get out. Oh, look at you, Pokemon. Look at you. X Maniac. Karen. Karen is Bay. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Hop, Mama. Woo! <laughs> Move this aside. These dice. And we'll bring in the other cards. It's on top. Arched, so don't worry, it's not damaging anything, I swear. Open this up. And we'll grab our other fault. So these are the Pokemon. Jirachi. Oh, Jirachi is not textured. That's interesting. Wonder why they chose to do that with Jirachi. So Jirachi is the lone one that doesn't get textured. This is a really, really nice metal coin. You hear that? That is that is really cool. Set that there. And of course, our four cards from here. We're gonna show these off and then sleeve them up. Probably sleeve them up first. So we're starting off with the Pokemon. We have a Shaman EX Secret Rare. An evil tall EX secret rare, and these cards are badass. They seriously look so nice. I think the gold border looks incredible. So we'll set those down. Let's do the Pokemon first. There we go. And then we'll save the supporters. We have the Jirachi, the mysterious Jirachi that has no texture, but it is the Stardust promo. Discard a special energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. You prevent all of the attacks, all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon. So it's super good, so it discards energy, as well as prevents damage done to it. Regirock EX, which is a great card. It's seeing some play in that, uh, that Lycanroc deck I was talking about. Because Regirock can give 10 extra damage to your uh, fighting type attacks when it's on your bench. Aegislash. Nice for the collection. Used to be played, but I don't play expanded, so it's not really something I'm super concerned about. Mega Sharpedo came out in a collection box, I believe. So it didn't make a camera up. God, these cards are gorgeous. Let's see if they make a camera up. Super nice card. Beautiful, not really playable. More of a collection piece for sure. Now let's get to the meat and potatoes, shall we? We've got our Team Flare Grunt. Absolutely stunning card. <laughs> I mean, look how Brokey. nice that is. So nice. We've got Karen, like I said. She is just total bay. As far as Pokemon ladies go, Karen would be my choice. Everybody always asks, who's your bay, right? <laughs> X-Maniac, absolutely amazing card. Shuts down his abilities. Shuts down Shuts down abilities for a turn. Use yours and your opponents. I cannot speak. Delinquent, one of my favorite supporters ever. I used to play the hell out of it. Doesn't see as much play these days because we have Field Blower. Delinquent, discards your opponent's stadium card in play. 
and then makes them discard three cards from their hand, which can be an absolute shocker. Shauna. That's cute art, definitely for sure. <laughs> she looks fierce. She makes you shuffle your hand and draw five cards. Blacksmith, which is a card that's been in Expanded for a while. Oh god, is a good looking card, man. These arts are so nice. These all came from the Best of XY set that was exclusively released in Japan. But they brought all the full art trainers and secret rares and stuff like that and cards to the set in this box. And finally in. Probably the, uh, the most expensive card in this set. I think this goes for about 40 bucks. And it actually might even be lower now. I know when they first came out they were a little pricey, but... There we go. Absolutely amazing box full of awesome trainers. I'm going to have to redo my binder, because my binder is set with all of my full art supporters in it. So what I'll do is when I get that updated with all the current full art supporters, I'll show off my binder section. I won't be able to show off the whole thing because it's not really in order yet, but look at that. And look at- we still have packs! I forgot about the packs, oh my god, but we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14! 14 HITS! And we're gonna set them back down. They're too beautiful not to look at. Just so we can show off some hits. We didn't get to our last video. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Look at that beautiful array. Eamon, what are you doing? And then we'll open our... 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 Two packs. I wonder if they were just included these because they're just sort of like, you know what, we need to get rid of these. There's a white code. I think, I don't even think Roaring Skies followed the, the white code ordeal. I, I really don't think it does. There's the Executor and a Swellow. Swellow, this is a uh, an ancient trait card or what I like to call a ghetto full art. Because I'm stupid. And then a Primal Clash pack. Just for the hell of it. Let's do it. Oh, I don't think I made it in there. Pretty sure this doesn't follow that trick as well. Ho <laughs> ho! Let's add one more full art to the mix, shall we? Boom! Now that's a card opening! Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace! And chicken grease! I'm out.